welcome to this week's vlog i did just want to go ahead and open the vlog up as y'all saw this morning i was on my way to drop the kids off at daycare and well y'all probably don't know where i was on my way to but i was on my way to drop the kids off at daycare and um come into the salon to do a client but yeah now i am done with my client and uh, y'all <sighs> So, if you watched last week's vlog, um, I told y'all. Actually, let me sit y'all up on. So, yeah, if you watched last week's vlog, then I told you that I got some real terrible news. I got some really terrible news, um, like the Wednesday before last week. And, uh, yeah, it was just devastating. So, that news that I got was that. Take Just, just take a while, guys. Like. If you can guess what, what the news is, I'm going to probably put it in the, in the title of this video anyways, but I got to move out of my suite. I got to move out. I have to move out. I'm being kicked out again. Um, yeah, it, this is really happening, folks. This is really happening. Um, the girl who I'm running from, I'm actually subleasing, and um, she just texts in a group all the people that she had that was tenants in her rooms like she has like a room like a suite across the hallway that has other suites inside of it and then she's also renting this out to me and so she just put in a group all of us and said hey um me and the landlords of the whole building we're we can't agree and um we basically got to be moved out by the 31st and this was on maybe the 13th at that point that she had told us that we got to be out by the 31st of this month well the first she told us we got to be out by the first of this month or the first of november so yeah i'm having to move out um when she initially sent that text i immediately broke down i felt so defeated like even just saying it today like it's just sending chills over my body that i just felt so defeated so discouraged just i cried i sat in this suite for probably two hours crying boohooing and just like distraught like I was just distraught because I finally feel like I was being able to build myself and create the business that I'm trying to create and here I am knocked down five steps because now I gotta give it up I gotta move someplace else I don't know where I'm gonna find a whole other place that's as big as this so that I can you know offer all the things that I'm trying to offer um, I was just getting things situated like y'all saw like I, I, well, I don't know if I showed y'all but I just put like my logo up on the wall I was buying like things slowly just you know finishing up decorating and <sighs> yeah so that's what I'm doing now um, I'm actually packing up a few things today is Wednesday I'm starting the vlog kind of late this week um, yeah, so I'm packing up things now and just getting ready to move out of here. Um, I don't want to move everything out immediately because I really don't feel like explaining all of this to my clients right now. Um, so I do have like a few more clients this week that I am actually I have clients up until the 31st. So on the 30th, I'm literally going to stay in here and take clients because I'm going to use it to every day until I have to be out. But yeah, so um I'm just moving some small things out um, that I can fit in my car with one trip. And uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna have to, I think I may have to get like a storage because taking all of this to my house is just too much. It's way too much. So I think I'm gonna have to get a storage room at least until I figure out where I'm going next. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. And if I do anything else, I guess I'll show it to y'all. But I just wanted to open up the vlog and just say hey to y'all, let y'all know what's going on in my life. It's crazy stressful, um, crazy, crazy stressful. I'm trying to smile and seem like I'm handling it very well, but in actuality, I am not. I am not handling it well whatsoever. Um, I don't know, yeah, I don't know where I'm gonna go. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Uh, so yeah, just try to encourage your girl down below in the comments. Let me know that everything's going to be all right. Um, because honestly, Wednesday, when I got that text, I said, just forget it, <laughs> forget it. I'm over it. I'm done. I give up. 
I give up. I will go get a job. I will work a nine to five. This is not it. <laughs> this is not it. And maybe, and I was thinking like, maybe this is just not meant to be. So maybe I should just give up. But um, I talked to my mom and um, a few other friends and I realized that giving up is really not an option. I've come too far. So yeah, I guess I'll keep going. <laughs> But yeah, y'all, I'll just see y'all when I do something else, I guess. I guess I could give y'all a little bit of a tour of what I've done so far to uh, my suite. So yeah, let's see. Okay, so this is when you first walk in. I put this little thing here for like mail and important documents if anybody has anything for me. Um, that thing there that I showed y'all in my haul. These two things I had planned to put my logo up there. But yeah, I have these cute little chairs. There was supposed to be another pillow, but the kids got it in the back. Um, I already took the things that was down off this table. I had just got a TV mounted like a month ago. <laughs> this plant and that little thing over there. I put that mirror there, which I think I've y'all already seen that mirror here. And I actually had a table here that I already took to the car and it had like cute little things on it. Um had my logo there. I already took the little square that was around it, took it down. Um, this room was empty because I was trying to rent it out. I'm about to get rid of that futon. Y'all, let me tell you, somebody on Facebook Marketplace sold me a futon that a cat pissed on. So it's a pissy futon that stank and I can't, I couldn't get the smell out. So I put it in there and bought another one. This is the other one that I bought. This is what the room was looking like. I already started taking stuff out early this morning, but I had two shelves there that the TV set up on and those things there were inside of the shelf. That's where I had hair um, organized it. I put this up over there of the wall to cover it. And it was so nice and so cute. Um, that's the, that area is just, everything's just basically being taken down now. This is my area where I worked. This is what it looked like. As y'all can see me. And here I am again. <laughs> But yeah, y'all. So that's what it looked like. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and continue moving stuff. So yeah. It's not good enough for me since I've been with you. Ooh. It's not gonna work for you. Nobody can eat me. No, no. I Okay, so we are out um, just looking at houses for fun right now we had a few extra minutes so we just out looking at houses and I'm gonna show y'all the house that we're looking at so. oh this ain't even done this ain't even done yet can we step up there what you think Y'all can see in there just a little bit, but this is like a guest room. Yeah, so you can see like, hold on, let me see, hold on. Like over there is a balcony, like right, right there is a balcony. But look at this back window. The house is right here on a lake. So nice. <laughs> but you don't get no yard though. But yeah, y'all, so we're just looking at houses. These are houses that are actually for sale. Um, just dreaming, basically, manifesting. Just seeing what's in the area that we want to be in. So, yeah, super nice. Hey, y'all, so we're home now. I'm fixing dinner. Tonight is going to be Taco Thursday. Instead of Taco Tuesday, we're doing Taco Thursday. But yeah, I'm currently trying to get a kiss from this little boy right here. And he don't want to give... Ah! You don't want to give me no love. You don't want to give me no love, Cass. Kisses. Why? Give me kisses. Mm. Give me some kisses. Please. Mm. Give me some kisses. Get your fingers out your mouth. 
Silly baby. Can I have kisses? Uh, Please. Mm. Mm. Am I stressing you out? Uh, oh my gosh, Cass. Am I stressing you out? Uh, Give me a kiss. Mm. Uh, uh, no, without them fingers in there. I don't know if I want a kiss. No. I, I saw the kiss anyway. Uh, I saw the kiss uh, anyway. You sleepies. Uh, yeah, you sleepy. Ooh. Uh, you finna go to bed? Finna get you some sleeps? Yes, you are. But yeah, y'all, I'm finna finish cooking. I'm making him some rice. Well, who's making him some rice? Making him some rice. I haven't turned it down by accident. And, um, woof. Kid, it's hot, ain't it? Woof. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna finish cooking this for him and then I'll talk to y'all. Like, what are you doing all of that? You <laughs> better <laughs> bite me. Y'all, I got a quick question. At what age did your children start getting picky with what they yeah. ate? Because this little girl over here, she is rough when it comes to food. What? I kicked this off. Because it was hurting my head right there. It was hurting me. It doesn't hurt me at all. Oh, okay. Well, it hurt me. It may not hurt you, but it hurt me. But it doesn't hurt me. It's probably good. Okay. But it does feel good for you. It's good for me. Yeah, but it doesn't hate. It's good. Okay, hold on. I'll put it back in in a minute. So, yeah, she is so picky, y'all. If the food ain't, if it's not something drizzled in chocolate, she don't want it. So, I asked her, I said, Zuri, do you want some rice? Because I made tacos tonight, so I made some white rice. And I put the meat inside of the rice for Kaz. I'm pretty sure he's going to eat it. She looked at it. She, she said, I said, Zuri, do you want some rice? She said, yes, I do. But then she immediately ran over here to see what it looked like. And when she looked at it, she said, don't eat on my crackers if you don't want to eat on my food. Don't eat on my cookies. Eat it up. Okay, eat it up. Okay, whatever. Just had the Oreos. But anyways, um, yeah, so she's talking about, she walked over here immediately after she said yes to look at it. And she looked at it, she said, Mm, I don't want rice. That's disgusting. <laughs> yeah, so when did your kids start getting picky with foods and like actually looking at the food to see if it looked appetizing or not? Because this girl. Woo. Pray for me, y'all. This one is ready to eat. But your food has to cool off. Good morning, y'all. So today is a uh, Thursday, and um, I just dropped the kids off at daycare not too long ago, and now I am at the park. Um, yeah, I'm at the park about to do some laps. <laughs> I really don't feel like it, but um, I know I need to, so. I'm gonna go ahead out here and work out for a little bit. I have a client this afternoon, and then um, I need to move some more stuff out of the salon. And then, so move stuff out of the salon, work out, move stuff out of the salon, take that client. And I also wanna do something to my hair. Can I do all of that before I get the kids? Is it possible? Not if I continue sitting in this car waiting, it ain't. But yeah, yeah, I'm about to get out and go work out now, I guess. <laughs> hey, 
Okay, y'all. So I just finished my workout. Um, my hands are so cold. But yeah, I just finished. And now I'm about to head to the salon to move a few things. Um, I did about an hour, a little bit over an hour. Um, I think it was like three miles um, because I was like walking and running. But <laughs> yeah, so... Um, yeah, I'm about to head to the salon now. And then I need to figure out what I'm going to do to my hair. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out something, though. But, yeah, I'll just see y'all when I get to the salon or I don't know. We'll see. Hey, y'all. So, I am currently walking to... This suite, I'm about to tour this suite. I'm walking over here now to look at it. So yeah, we're gonna see how this looks and I'll show y'all. But yeah, so I just made it home and I got everything out of my car. And um, I went by the hair store real quick because your girl is about to make a quick, well, I ain't gonna say quick, but a little video. It is one, well, two o'clock right now. And I have, I try to go get the kids by four, so technically I got two hours to do this video. Um, yeah, it's a hair video, so um, I wonder if I can make this happen in two hours. I should be able to. So yeah, I'm about to go ahead and get started on that video now. And uh, yeah, um, I think this, I think the video will go up before the vlog. So yeah, so make sure you go back and watch that video. I'll try to link it somewhere up in here for real this time. I will do it. And yeah, so I'm going to clean up the area that I'm about to be using to make this video. And yeah, I'm going to just say it's going to be a wash day routine. I don't know why I'm acting like it's just something because y'all can see it anyways. It's going to be a it's Yeah, because the video will be up before this one. So it's a wash day routine. Go watch the video. I'm about to take these braids out because I have been scratching the mess out of my scalp. And it's definitely needed. Is that it definitely needs a good wash. That's what I'm trying to say. So yeah, I'm about to do that and yeah, check in with y'all later. Hey y'all, so um, today is Friday and I got Zuri and Kaz with me. I just picked them up from daycare. But right now we are, um, we're at the red light. <laughs> of course I'm at the red light. But I'm out door dashing right now um, just to make a little bit of extra money. Um, at the end of the month, I mean, at the end of the year, like October, November, December, it started getting real, real tight. Well, October, November, December, it started getting real, real tight for us. So we got to do what we got to do to make some extra coins so that, you know, we can stay afloat. But yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. Um, I moved some more stuff out of my... Um, out of the salon today i took two clients today and yeah i just been rolling today y'all i've had a busy busy day but yeah so that's what i'm doing right now i just wanted to pop in and just check in with y'all let y'all know how my day was oh yeah let me tell y'all this real quick while i'm on here so um y'all know i told y'all that the girl who i was hold on let me actually get these directions hold on okay but yeah y'all so y'all know i told y'all that I had to uh, move out of my salon suite because the girl said that um, her and the landlord of the building could not come to an agreement. Lie. Tell me why this girl being evicted. I've been paying her $1,000 a month to be there and uh, she ain't been paying the bill. Yeah, she just ain't even been paying the bill. And I, so I went over there to like their side today or yesterday to talk to or just to see um if everybody was moved out and it was a last check still there and me and her were just talking and she was like yeah you know i saw the paper she's being evicted and yeah she was just basically like me like it's crazy that we were paying her all this money and she just was not paying the bill my thing is as a business owner i pay my business bills first like it was times that I had personal bills due, but I made sure that I paid her first because that's my business. Like that's one of my kids. Like I'm gonna make sure that my kids eat. I'm gonna make sure that they have everything that they need. No matter how I gotta get it, I'm gonna make sure that it's had for them. My, me personally, I may go without. I may go without, but my children would never. And that's the same way with my business. My business will never go without. I will never 
I, I'm so serious about it. Like, I will always pay my bills, my business bills first. And it was just crazy to me. I'm like, wow. Like, I guess everybody don't run their business the same. But um, in her message that she sent telling us that we had to get out, um, she said that she had found her a new location already. So, I'm guessing she took our money and went and found her a new location. Yeah, so... That was just crazy to me. I was like, I cannot believe this, but I can't believe it. That's why I'll never ever rent from anyone else as a sublease or a sublet anymore. I'll never do it again. That's a lesson learned for me. But yeah, y'all. So um, let me get back to this. DoorDash is trying to tell me something. So I'll see y'all later. October 31st, the last day of the month, and also Halloween. Happy Halloween. Um, I am currently, as you can see, moving. I have all my things packed up in my car, loaded up. I dropped the kids off at daycare this morning, and I went straight to my salon and packed up my car, and now I'm headed to take it to my house to put it in the garage. So, yeah, that's what I am doing right now. Um... Yeah, I was just coming in to check in, say good morning to y'all. Um, this is an extension of the vlog. I decided to um, just keep the vlog going for right now. Um, just because we did some things on our last, the last clip I think y'all saw was, um, hold on, let me close that window, hold on. Okay, so the last clip I think y'all saw was us at this like fall, well not fall, but Halloween like, um, trunk or treat festival thing um they had it at a park near us so we just took the kids out there and let them just get some candy and let them play a little bit put their costumes on and today ziri and Cass got dressed for halloween they got in their costumes they went to school in their costume and that was so cute um i'll insert a picture or something like that so y'all could see them this morning but also follow me on instagram because i may have posted it there but yeah, um, yeah, so that's what I did. I, I still got my hair up, y'all. It's just, I am got it wrapped up because I, I ain't doing nothing. I'm just moving. So yeah, that's what we did this morning. And I'm moving currently. We did that this past weekend. Um, yeah, so I think that's it. I just wanted to pop on real quick and say hi to y'all and let y'all know what we were doing.
Thank you.